My dear brothers and sisters, God is good. And all the time. Just some two thoughts for our meditation in relation to the readings that you have just proclaimed. We are still in this period of resurrection of Easter where we celebrate the victory of Christ, the victory of Christ's death. Jesus who was died, who had died, resurrected. Jesus who, during Good Friday, we celebrated how darkness had entered into the world, Jesus brings the light. And this is why we have this Paschal candle reminding us that Jesus is the true light. And it is also a moment during this time of Easter, a moment of resurrection, a moment of a new beginning, a moment of rebirth. Because the experience that we get after having encountered Christ always needs to transform us to become new people. And that's what we have heard in the first reading. How Jesus touched the life of Saul. Saul who was a persecutor. And we heard during this week on Monday or Monday or Tuesday how Saul was participated in the killing of Stephen. And they had put even the clothes of Stephen in the, on the feet of St. Paul. Because he had that, you can say, that enthusiasm of persecuting the Christians. But now, Jesus appears to him as he was going to Damascus. And he tells him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul says, who are you, Lord? And Jesus says, I am Jesus. Meaning that by the fact of persecuting the Christians, he was persecuting Jesus himself. But God did not abandon Saul there. He gave him a mission. Wake up, go to the to town, and you will be told what to do. And Saul, who was persecuting Christians, was converted. And that's why you even call it the vocation of St. Paul. He was converted and began being a faithful disciple of Christ. And sometimes you can even say it is thanks to Saul, to St. Paul, that the gospel reached to the ends of the earth. What does that teach us? It means that by the fact of having this personal encounter with Christ, our life needs to be transformed. We cannot remain the same. And especially we who have this privilege. It is a privilege, my dear brothers, that we can come for daily mass. It is a privilege to have this contact with Christ. But, and the fact of having this contact with Christ needs to transform us, needs to have a rebirth in us, needs to begin a new beginning in our life. As it happened to St. Paul, by the fact of St. Paul having encountered Christ, he began being a missionary, as we have heard in the responsorial psalm. Go, how did you respond saying? Go to, into the whole world and preach the gospel. That is the mission that the Lord is giving to you and to me after having encountered him. We are called to go and preach the, 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 to, to, to the whole world the the gospel of the Lord in our families, in our communities, wherever we work. But to preach this gospel, we need always to have connection with Christ. We need to eat the bread of life. We need to be uh, really, uh, we, we, we need to be satisfied with Jesus himself who is the food of life. And that's what we have heard in 
the gospel of today when Jesus tells us that I am the bread of life he who eats me will have eternal life in other words what Jesus has been telling us during this week as we have been reflecting on this gospel of St. John chapter 6 he's telling us that if what the food does in our life because if we don't eat we are not going to have energy to move on forward but if we eat we have energy to do whatever we are supposed to do so the same thing happens with Christ when we are fed with the Eucharist when we are fed with Christ we have energies to encounter whatever can come in our way because Jesus is our the reason of being so let us ask the Lord in this Holy Eucharist so that we can always treasure this particular moment that the, the Lord gives us to come from us to receive him in the Eucharist to receive him in his word to receive him in our brothers and sisters and let us be like soul that the encounter that we have with Christ let us also share it with our brothers and sisters who most of them sometimes have lost hope in life many of our brothers have lost hope in life we are the new souls we are the new Paul to go and bring hope in our brothers and sisters who have so many challenges let us be like St. Paul and by so doing we know that the gospel of the Lord, the kingdom of the Lord will reach to the ends of the earth. In the name of the Father.